everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish and I'm going to review the SPY, the S&P today. And I did talk about this briefly in the webinar last night. We are really, really gapping up here after hours a lot. Jeez Louise. What the heck? Hold on. Let me just see. Where did we actually? We closed at 192.88. People always ask me, what about the trades that don't work out, Melissa? What about the trades you lose money in? This is a great example here. I'm going to talk to you about the SPY. I'm going to tell you a story. You can sit back and listen. At the end of last year, I saw the market, and I saw the market was going to go to some, a, to a target, okay? And I wrote it all down. I was working on it for about two, three months. And I decided to do options in the market. I decided to do them at the end of in, in, De in December, and I thought the timing was really, really good to do them uh, where I took the trades. They're long-term trades out, okay, later this year. Now, I was in these trades. The market then opened for the calendar year 2016 and came in and came in hard. So I had taken these trades up in here. Obviously, then these trades were down. So for a solid month and a half, I've been watching, actually two months, I think, I've been watching my spider options, they're negative. All the while knowing that I have plenty of time, that the trades are really good, that the risk to reward in the, the trades that I'm in, in the spider options, is like 50 to 1. And obviously, there is no point in killing it if I still believe in the trade and I still am reading the market trend higher for this calendar year. This thing here today, this bullish gap, this thing, this bullish gap that we did today, I never thought we'd hold as well as we did immediately. And we did. And I've got to tell you, this is, you know, this is exactly what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I thought I'd see back here. This is exactly what we are seeing. And I have no idea where we open tomorrow morning because, <clears throat> you know, I, at this point now, after hours tonight, we're gapping up. Can we hold another gap up? I don't know, let's just review it. We gapped up here, held, gapped up here, held, capped up here, held. For three solid days, we've gapped up and held. So if we gap up a lot tomorrow, I don't think we hold the gap, but we are definitely higher. So my spider options are going to start moving, but I don't think they're going to really start to get positive I think they're gonna start moving around here but here are the levels here 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 and here but it's very interesting people always say well, what about the trades Melissa that you lose in well I, I didn't lose in this spider trade because it's a live trade that's live I have two options in it. They're live trades with a time date. They're options, but I am down in them. But I'm telling you that it took a lot of conviction to hold through the trades when the market was falling in here. And I kept double, triple checking myself every single day. This is exactly what I thought we'd do back here. We're doing it now. We're gonna, we're gonna run. I mean, this, we're not gonna fall. I know, I know I've been saying this all along and probably a lot of people question my bullish viewpoint of the market but is 100% correct market can be tricky sometimes because you look at it and then you and then you're convinced yourself and then you look at it another way but that's why you have to have 100% conviction in a strategy which I do my strategy is gaps and when I saw the gap up today and yesterday and the day before I said every day the market was a long could be bought I just didn't know the timing of, of to buy the market because sometimes the market comes in a smidgen before rallying. Let's just see here today where we actually set the low of the day. Let me just want to look. Hold on. All right, I have to go back. But I will, I, I will tell you that every, people always want to know, what about the trades you lose in, Melissa? I'm not, I'm not, I am not. I didn't lose in the spider's options, but I am down in them. They're live trades, though, out for the long term, but they're, they're going to work out. And and I tell you, if I wouldn't have conviction, I would have killed those things. I mean, every morning I've had to get up for two months and look at those things be down. And still day trade. And still look accurately at the stuff that I'm doing. And it has been a challenge to me. But I've double, triple checked. 
every day the market and every gap, every down gap, every bullish gap, every bearish gap, every gap in the planet, I keep looking at the spy and I keep looking at the cues and every time I do, I keep seeing we're higher. And we will make a brand new all-time high this year in both the QQQs and the SPY. I know no one believes me, but this is such a huge trade that I'm in. And this is going to be a story. It's actually going to be a story that I'll write, and no one will believe me except for the people that are in it with me, because some people are in it with me from the room. And once I'm out of the trade, and once I make the money in the trade, then I'll write the story, and it'll go in the book, because it's a 50R plus trade. Now, will I hold the whole thing the whole ride up? Probably not. No. But I will make a lot of money in this trade, and it's really going to work out. And it's it's almost unbelievable, actually. It's just like so many crazy calls that I make, and then and, and then they work out. Um, here, yep, I set the low the day before ten o'clock. And you could have won long the market today. You could have won long the market today. Here's the buy setup right in here. But actually, this would have been it. Uh, a better entry in here, more confirmed, right into 10 o'clock. 191.50 basically held all day. I mean, look where we went, dream target in the SPY, and expect a gap up tomorrow. But I'm telling you that on the live day tomorrow, well, here, here, I'm going to tell you right now. If we gap up to 196, we'll hold the gap and rally. Or beyond. If we gap up anywhere in this area, it's going to be very squiggly. We could rally first, then drop into the close, or we could drop into the morning and then rally into the close. It's going to be tough. I'd rather see a massive gap up tomorrow. That's that's what I want to see. Big gap up tomorrow at 196 or beyond. Otherwise, anything between here and there is going to be tough to intraday day trade. So I'll just do what I normally do, which is look for the shorts. But today was a day to go long. It's like you could have gone long anything and everything in the market today. But we'll see how this all turns out. A lot of conviction for me to hold two of these spider options. It's a huge, 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 huge risk to reward trade. I've, I've got to play it out. I've decided to do it. When you do these long-term overnights, whether they're swing trades or options, if you do them for the long term, you gotta you gotta be willing to ride ride it out. Things don't go in one direction immediately unless you're day trading. So when you do the swing trades or you do the options, if you're doing them for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a couple of years, you have to have a little patience. Actually, this trade is teaching me some patience. We'll see what all happens with it. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, February 20th and 21st. Great time to trade with me in the live trading room, and I'll see everybody tomorrow.